Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh, that is so good. Oh, my gosh, that is so good. It is so fluffy. channel today i am so excited because we will be trying a kind of culture of food we have never tried before but the exciting part is that this culture of food has a strong indian influence they have everything from rotis curry dal and rice but this food comes from the island of trinidad guys and it's sparked my curiosity because i love indian food my subscribers love indian food as well and this is not Indian food, it's Trinidadian food. So I'm kind of curious, I want to explore the flavors. So we were recommended by our friend Ibrahim to come to this restaurant called Elsie's Roti Shop. They serve delicious Trinidadian food. So let's go on a Trinidadian food tour. Come with me. came on a downtime because we want to film some stuff. They got the uh, kitchen right in the open, so we're going to see them put together some amazing food. Um, guys, I'm so excited. I am so hungry. <laughs> is like the owner right okay That's the name of the shop too so this is like a fried dumpling like a flitter okay so, so this is like dough yes okay and then the two kind of would hot. you call it chutneys or no yes chutney yeah and this is hot hot chutney yes okay cool this thank you one. this one have no pepper so no pepper it, yes okay this one's sweet this one's hot yeah. so don't give it to the baby no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, so we just sat down, and this lady is so friendly. She's already like, what can I get you? Let me get you started. We told her we want to have, like, very authentic Trinidadian food. Oh, wow. This is the double, guys. Double with goat, right? No. Or? Ah, curry chickpeas are inside of here. I'll just show you guys. Ooh, it's already hot. The doubles, guys. Ooh, my gosh, look at this dough. <gasps> That looks so good. You see, oh my gosh, the smell is delicious, guys. This bread is almost like a chole batura. Um, you guys know what that is. So that dough is the exact same. That is hot. Oh my gosh. So we just sat down and we pretty much are doing our order as we go along. She's giving us a Trinidad food tour, guys. This is so cool. We can see her cooking it in the back. Let's get started. What was this one called again? Pulari. Pulari. Okay, so we have a Pulari, and this one is a sweet chutney over here, and this one is spicy, guys. I love spicy, so let's see. Take a look. Almost reminds me of a... Um, like South Indian, um, I forget what it's called. You guys let me know in the comments below, but almost like a dough. Let's see, sweet chutney. Mm. Oh my gosh, so spongy. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my gosh, that chutney has like that sweet chili flavor. Alfonso, you're gonna love this. Try this. It's a sweet chutney. Alfonso's never had Trinidadian food like us, so try this. It's like a, you know, like a... Yes. Well, can we get like an authentic Trinidad drink? Yes. <laughs> Alfonso, what do you think of that sweet chutney? Oh, that's good. It's good, right? It's sweet. 
spicy, but still good. Because it's got a little bit of like that sweet chili spice into it, so, but to me it's not spicy. It's really, really good. I love this. Mmm, they're cooking up the roti in the back, guys. Let's try the spicy one. This is the spicy one. Woo! That is spicy! I love it! <laughs> oh, he's, she's asking you if you want spicy. Um, I don't know, they're both... Me, do you have a medium in between? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're both delicious. I feel like though, if I put a lot of, um, like if I eat too much of the, the spicy one, it's going to be really spicy. I really like it though. It's like, um, it just makes my mouth keep like salivating. So good. Mm. This is the sorrow. Mm. Sorrow. This is called sorrow. What's it made with? It's a fruit that they call sorrel from Trinidad. Ah, okay. Yes. Thank you. Authentic Trinidad drink, sorrel. I'll have to look that up online. All right, guys, so here we have the traditional Trinidadian drink, sorrel. So we're gonna give it a try. Made from the fruits of Trinidad. Mmm. It's like there's some cinnamon or something in it. Mmm. -hmm. Cinnamon, cloves, it almost wow. tastes almost like we went to Nicaragua and we had this Jaimeca, Jamaica. Jamaica. It's almost like similar, but then... Similar to Jamaica? Is it similar? The Jamaica? flower? Yes. Yes. Ah, it's a red flower. Oh, my taste buds are on fire today. <laughs> uh, so it has like a Jamaica flower flavor and then cinnamon and cloves, which is all very Indian too. It's a lot of cinnamon, a lot of cloves. Mmm. Let's see what little Alfonso thinks. Alfonso, you want to try this? It is like, remember when we went to Nicaragua and we had the Jamaica drink? It's very similar. But what do you think? It's good. What do you give it out of 10? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10? Like the usual, he says. <laughs> do you taste that like special spice? I want to see how his palate is. Do you taste that like little bit of spice that starts with a C? No, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything. <laughs> oh, look. Cinnamon. Even, even the chalk says 10. So I read my mind. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Alfonso's just <laughs> being funny. Guys, the, on the walls of this restaurant, they even have like um, stuff about the restaurant in Miami. Like beautiful Trinidad food. So, okay. Mm. This is extremely good. Okay, guys. The double doubles. I've seen this. I want to try it. Look at it. It was very hot when it came out. It has that like chole batura fear, uh, feeling about it. You see the chana, but when you open this up, it's just like the aroma hits you in the face like pow. So much flavor. You got to pull your hair back for this one. I wonder, I think I just eat it like this. So soft. Oh wow! Mm. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Oh my gosh, that is so good. It is so fluffy. The flavors, so. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Um, comparing it to Indian food, it's like it has a different, like more of like an acidic flavor but a nice acidic it's like very the spice is a little different guys it's hard to explain it has a very good kick it's light and it just punches you in the mouth right away <laughs> it's not like a slow burn it's like pow right away <laughs> i love it the flavor is so good this is delicious and it's kind of rainy today a little bit cold it's like 25 <laughs> um but this is just perfect it's starting to get a little bit busy we're here on a slow time too I love the chana. It's kind of messy. Comfort food, soothe your soul. Really, really good. Oh my God. Actually, yes, it has that Indian influence, but it does have a distinct character, guys. 
This is delicious. You can order so many different types. Um, and even the roti, they have uh, shrimp, duck, goat, beef, chicken, plain. And then they have something called bus up shut. Bus up shut. I wonder what that is. <laughs> Maybe I'll ask her later. That's another one? What's in that? That one is the dough by itself. Ah, okay. It's just the dough by itself, guys. Okay. I better, I would eat it all, but then Big Alfonso can't eat it, so <laughs> I want to save half for him. All right, guys, we are going to get into the next dish. This looks crazy good. Okay, guys, this food is extremely good. Definitely not what I expected, and I love, like, the home style. You just sit at the counter. She is so friendly. She's describing everything perfectly, recommending the best dishes, guys. It's like you're entering into their kitchen. You can just see them cooking up the roti. I think I'm going to have to buy one of those sauces there, the LC sauces, or I should call them chutneys. They call it the same, chutneys, which is cool. Okay, so this is the goat roti, guys. This does have bones in it. Um, let me show you. Oh, it's really soft. Maybe I'll show you one side. Okay, wait, let me cut through it. Make sure I can show you guys the whole thing. Oh, I can tell it's really soft. Oh my gosh, and there's a lot of sauce. It's very saucy. I love saucy things. Look at that. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at all the spices. Oh my. What is this? Look at this crispy kind of bit on top. Then you see the goat. Then an extreme amount of spices. My mouth is already just dripping. Okay. So there is bones in it. I just don't know where they are. We'll discover it as we eat it. <laughs> All right, let's try this corner. Hair, flip your hair back. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's like a curry. It's like a beautiful curry in a roti. It's like the most satisfying feeling in your mouth. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. oh my gosh, it's different. Oh my gosh, this is good. Oh my gosh, me and Alfonso are dance instructors. You you should follow our Instagram. That's how we can eat so much food. <laughs> but after dance class, you're gonna want this. This is like satisfaction. There is a bone in here, I'll show you. But it's like a green curry, guys. This meat is extremely soft. Pull apart soft. Oh my gosh, it just fall off the bone. I wonder how long they like stew this for. You know how you can really taste like home style food? This is exactly the flavors you want. And that is a lot of food. Like kind of um, just like a heavy meal, but the flavor is intense. Intensely good, intensely good food. That might be the title of this. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. It's like your fingers good. It just to me tastes like um like an Indian curry. Less cream though. Doesn't I don't feel that creaminess like you would get in North Indian food, but you don't get the coconut like you would in South Indian food. It's like a its own thing. Um but then put into a roti, which is kind of like in Indian, like you know the kati roll or kathi roll. We had it one time before, almost like that. This dough is so soft though. See, you just pull it off. Maybe you, this is how you eat it, but you can just wipe up all that delicious curry. A lot of spices. This is their special spice sauce. I think I have stuff in my teeth, guys. Don't mind me. <laughs> okay. Mmm, that was so good. Lots of flavor in this food. Mmm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh, so good guys. I can't even get over it. If you've never had Trinidad food, you should go right now. This place, 
extremely good, guys. Um, I don't even know what else to say. I just want to. I just want to stop filming so I can enjoy the rest of this and like eat it. <laughs> and I can't wait for Big Alfonso to try this, guys. Don't forget to hit that like, hit that subscribe button. We are taking you on amazing food tours coming up, guys. You do not want to miss it. So we're gonna polish this food off. Let me know what you think in the comments below. <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna have an authentic cake. This is a rum fruit cake, guys. So she uh, recommended that we try it. Take a look. Looking good. I was like, is this just a normal chocolate cake? But she's like, no, this is a rum fruit cake. So no chocolate. <laughs> no chocolate, even though it looks like chocolate. <laughs> little Alfonso's like, can I try it? You can, you can try a little bite after. Ooh, it has the consistency of like a brownie. It's like thick. Oh. Mmm. You know what I like about it already? It doesn't have that processed sugar type of sweetness. It's not like a chocolate cake at all. And it has like that fudge brownie consistency. The fruit is really good. The rum, I don't even taste the rum. Mmm. Let's give little Alfonso a bite. He's gonna have a good sleep tonight. <laughs> Here, baby. What do you think about this cake? You have to rate it out of 10. Out of 10. 10 out of 10 the usual it's a 10 out of 10 guys so let me know in the comments below what you think of this amazing restaurant thank you so much everything has been so good i love it it's good i like that it doesn't have that processed sugar taste it's homemade yes it's not like the anything box everything you prep from scratch when i say scratch it's like start from getting the fruits yeah everything in process yeah, it tastes, it tastes really good. Thank you so much. I loved all the food. I want to come back and try more food, guys. So you got to come here, guys. Elsie's Roti Shop. And visit her. What's your name? Bella. My name is Bella. You got to visit Bella, guys. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. We're going to polish off this cake. Ah, there you guys go, guys. You got to come for authentic Trinidadian food. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, the food here is so good. We even got a little bit of a taste tester of the coconut dessert. She gave it to me on the house. Oh, it's sweet. I'll give a little piece to Alfonso. <laughs> you only get a little piece, a shred of coconut. Go. What are you waiting for? If you don't eat, I'm gonna eat it. Okay, I'll eat it. Anyways, guys, that is delicious. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, so we can continue making videos for you guys. And on that note, just keep on dancing. Keep on dancing.